Okay, so let's take a look at question number 13 here, where we're trying to calculate um, how many months um, would this person have to save money in order to get to $35,000 to purchase a new vehicle. So if we fill in our, um, our time value money um, parameters, okay, we can go through this and, and just go through each part. So how many months until he has saved? So that's going to be related to the periods of, in terms of saving. So N is going to be our variable here. So we either are going to leave that out or that's the thing we're going to find. We know the interest rate is 3.25. Okay, so then we also, when you use your calculator, um, you don't have to convert that to a decimal. You just type in N as 3.25%. Um, it'll internally do the calculation for you to, to divide by 100. The present value is zero because he doesn't have any money at this point and he's building up to saving that. Um, the payment each month he's putting in, or each week actually, he's putting into the savings account is negative 150 because um, we're paying money out. Um, it represents a cash flow. Um, the future value is what we want to save in total. So that's going to be our positive value or, of the amount we're accumulating, which is $35,000. Um, the payments per year, this is the one that you need to be careful of here. We are doing... Um, monthly payments, um, he can put in $150 a week. So that means uh, we are saving, there's 52 weeks in a year. So we are paying 52 weeks in one year, $150, it's every week. So that's, that, that's an important value you've gotta make sure that you get right, the payments per year. Okay, he can put 150 per week into an investment, okay, earning an annual rate of 3.25. So that means over the course of one year, he's going to do 52 um, payments. Okay, and the compounded quarterly is the compounding or the coupons per year. So we're going to, um, every um, four times a year, um, it will pay out interest and that's the rate of the compounding. So what we need to remember here is the payments per year is going to be linked to the number of periods that we ultimately have to save. So when you use your um, solver, use the TVM application, you will find that N is equal to 217.93. Now, what is the unit for that? Well, the unit for that is related to your payments per year. So our payments per year is in weeks. So therefore the number of periods that we're actually talking about saving here is going to be in weeks. Okay, so that's the important thing to remember here. Because N, N is, a, is a period value, but it has to have some sort of a unit and it's related to the number of periods per year in terms of this what we're saving. So how do we get this down to months? Because that's what our question here is asking here. So we need to do a conversion into, um, convert into um, months. Okay, now the little thing that's a little bit tricky with this is that if we, in order to do this um, accurately, um, you can't assume that there are just four weeks um, in a month because some months are a little bit longer than others and there's a little bit of um, an error that propagates in there. So the, 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 the best way to do this is you take 217.93, that's weeks, okay, times it by one year is equal to 52 weeks, okay, this way we get rid of our weeks and we're converting it into a fraction of a year or multiples of a year, okay, and then there are um, one year is 52 weeks and then there are 12 months in one year. So I'm just gonna do this unit conversion, okay, all in sort of one step here. And if you do this, you will get um, a value where you can then round this up to the nearest um, amount. So if I'm just gonna work this out accurately here, it's 217.93 two times 12, then divide that all by 52 and you will get 50.29 months. Okay, now realistically, practically, he would have to save that extra month, so that's why he would get 51 months as the amount being saved. 
Okay, so this is how you have to approach this question. Um, the values are relatively straightforward to put in, but you have to link the fact that the number of periods you're finding is equal to weeks and um, then convert that weeks into a month. And the easiest way to do that is to actually go directly back to years and then go to the, go to the next uh, smaller unit.